Hello guys and today I'm going to show you the soapification of an ester. Um, CRT demonstration. I'm actually making an oscilloscope. But for now I'm just trying to get a focused beam of electrons on the TV. Um so don't mind this over here it's just an oscillator a square wave oscillator which i was experimenting on to see if i can get a good horizontal sweep so for now i'm just trying to focus the coils but i have to try electrostatic deflection because the magnetic coils like those on around here doesn't have much effect on the focusing so i'll start it up for you to see also when i turn it on it takes a while to warm up before it starts completely because of the heater it takes a while to heat up fully so the high voltage is run by this ZVS driver and produced by this flyback. And I'm planning to use this smaller yellow wire later on for the electrostatic focusing of the beam. So let's see how it works out. Okay, I'm going to turn on the slide switch. Let's see what will happen. As you can see, I get a beam right here. As you can see, it's quite bright. And I'll take it off. Okay, so first, get a rough amount of sodium hydroxide solution in a test tube. About that should be enough. Now get seven milliliters of ethyl propanoid or the required ester. As you can see, it forms two layers. Now, set this up on a reflux. Okay, I just have the test tube there. Now, start heating. Okay, I'll just put the you can use a candle or flame or even an, some kind of electric heater if you want. So here you see it's starting to boil. I'm using, once again, I'm using an induction heater, but you can use something else. Here's all the messy wiring. And some other back here. This is a fan, but I'm not running it yet since it's still cold, okay? The boiling is getting more rapid. And just now, you would see the condenser starting to condense liquid. Okay, as you can see, it started boiling very vigorously, and you cannot no longer see separation, and the condenser has started to work.
you don't have to use coolant in your condenser, but because I don't have ice in it, I'm using coolant. Supposedly, this would work better than if you just had um, normal water. Hello guys, and today I'm going to show you my temperature controller for a fan. It works by using this thermal resistor here, which the resistance increases when it's heated. They call it an NTC thermal resistor. I have a 500 kilo ohm pot, and I'm using an up arm and there I have a fan a small 5 volt fan but you can also use 12 volt I'm just using a 5 volt fan for demonstration purposes and it's everything is mounted on this piece of board I'm not sure if it's cardboard but it's like a paper kind of board but it's kind of rigid as you can see the fan is off and then I adjust the port it can turn on so if I just put it before it starts and then put my hand on the thermal sensor it'll start spinning and when I remove my hand and let it cool it would stop spinning <laughs>